Well... I don't know where we are exactly, but I know we're on the way to the next part. Here we are, everybody. Hi, it's that one, Flareon. We are continuing on with... Level 50 Pokemon again. That make it so my max repels don't work very well. And are basically worthless. I don't like that factoid. CCC. Oh. I have to sneak past them. Oh, Surf can't be used to... <laughs> it's literally just for a trainer battle. The way to actually go is that way. Gold Duck and Psyduck. That's great. Excellent. Water types. Eh. Just die. Try attack. That does most of the damage. Flamethrower does a little bit extra. Okay. Gold Duck missed. Psyduck missed. And ironically, that was really easy. So, this is really easy. Try attack. Could probably remove the Psyduck. Yep, there we go. And Susie Star will finish up the Gold Duck. That's kind of funny. That was easy for double water type against my fire types. Against my fire type and flying type. Oh well. Let's continue onwards. Good job, K-Bird. Good job, Susie Star. Let's do this. Let's do this. Leroy. Look away. You don't. Seavolt Canyon. Marowak! Level 52! Dang, I can make my own new team with some of the stuff I'm seeing here. I'm not gonna because... Oh, God. I am so happy that let me pass without an issue. Now, let's see. There's a cave here. What's this? Tenobi Key. Oh, no. Oh, it's a strength puzzle. And this is not a nice strength puzzle. This is a bad strength puzzle. Let's go back out, enter again, and this is a puzzle for- this is a different kind of puzzle. Okay, I have to figure out- let's do this. Alrighty. I have to hope this is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, this. That's not right. Oh my god! I need to move every rock! Oh, how do I do that? Like, legitimately, how do I do this? Okay. Oh wait, I can walk on these spots, can't I? Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Like, okay, just move this one all the way in.
let's move this here and move it all the way across. And let's do the same with you. Okay, this better give me a really good reward, because this is legitimately a good puzzle. And doink, doink. Far away. Huh. Uh, and seriously, I have no idea what that did. All I, have, all I know is that it fi figured did something somewhere far away. Which hopefully, by far away, they mean somewhere on this island. Perhaps farther along in this. Oh, dang it! I like legitimately. If I don't, if I don't figure out in this recording session what that did, I will look it up to see what the frick that did because I don't remember that at all. Susie Star used flame thrower on this level forty-eight sand slash. Hmm. Yeah, we're getting really far into this, though. And really far in... And we're getting pretty close to the end. You know, again, this is the last island I'm exploring. After this, it's back to Island 5. Get the stupid Sapphire back. Then go to Islands... Then go to Island 1. Get Give the Sapphire to the stupid person. And then I go to Cerulean Cave. And do the last, and do my big, uh, the end of the series. Like, we're near the end. An Ursa Ring! I would love to use you on a team eventually, because you look, because, you know, you're a freaking, freaking big null type. It's really powerful. Well, I sort of have an X, I think XD, but, eh, I mean in a normal Pokemon game that I normally play. You know, that isn't double, constant double battles. But isn't the bad thing, I guess. The thing is, I don't hate XD, but I don't like it either. Also, is that a little... Can get rid of that? We around and around and around and around and I don't know what I do. Frick! I work to protect the environment. Why did I give him that place? Also, a Pokemon Ranger. Cool. I wish I could Let's Play Pokemon Ranger series. Except for the first game, because I don't like the first game. I like the second and third, though. The second, the second Pokemon Ranger is actually my favorite Pokemon spinoff game. The original Pokemon Ranger is my least favorite. I find that kind of... Mm, least favorite not including Gates to Affinity. Because I hate Gates to Affinity's stupid programming. Hey, hey, like, why is it that it, it's the only it Mystery Dungeon game that has the AI that stupid? Like, your partner AI is a complete moron in Gates to Affinity, and it's the only Mystery Dungeon game that does it, and I don't know why. It's because, like, whenever... Because even in the games that you... In the other games before it, they hint that, you know, using your basic attack can lure enemies closer... And yet, in Gaze of Affinity, that doesn't work because your AI will run in front of you and take hits because it's stupid. And I hated that game for it. It's the big reason why I think Gaze of Affinity is not fun to play because the AI is just rock stupid. There were so many times in which I was like, okay, I'm one space away. I'll just use my basic attack, have the, cre you know, the Pokemon come closer, and I can fight it. Then my AI runs right in front of me whenever I do my basic attack, immediately making it so it takes a hit, and because and makes it so I have to take a hit just so I can fight it because he's useless and can't kill anything. Also, I cannot believe I can't get out of these stupid trainers. See you guys next time. I'm just cutting this one out.